When you start the game, you will see this. You can ignore those until you become more advanced player. They make more sense. Next is your hero selection. Uh, click on those icons to select your hero. If you are new, these are the hero I recommend you to try out. Their hero power is passive that buffs your army or gives you extra resources. I think you should avoid using these. Their hero ability works better if you know more of the game. This is your tavern store. You can click on the icon or the unit to select that card. This is your deck, where your car enters the battle. You will have a total of 7 slots, just like Hearthstone, however, each car can contain more units up to 200. Uh, how to produce unit will be covered in the future episode. When you put cards in, it gets auto-placed into the deck. Cards with keywords deploy can be placed on the position of your choice. On this side, you have your hands. You can save up to 6 cards. This is your control panel. From top to bottom, your hero power. Refresh the store, ready check button, lock the store, upgrade tavern, and your tavern level indicators. In the middle, that's the countdown for your remaining time to plan. This is your resource bar. Mineral are used to buy cards. Gas are used to upgrade cards. Your mineral will refill every round and limits get raised by 1 each round, uh, max out at 10. You can exceed that limit if you somehow get extra mineral. You get 1 gas per round, max out at 6. The 3 round buttons are visual enhancement to highlight your hero unit, differentiate range, melee, bio, mech units. Uh, one may apply at a time. Select cards in the store to buy or save it. Once entered, you can choose to upgrade or sell. All cards cost 3 minerals to buy, and refund one if sold. Upgrades cost 2 gases, choose one upgrade out of 4. Or cancel to get one gas refund. Knowing those, you can start playing the game. In the next episode, we go over deploy, triple, and other basic mechanics.